Hi, and welcome to a how-to on using a console cable. In this video you will learn how to properly connect the console cable to your PC, as well as accessing a console on network equipment using PuTTY. A console cable is a necessity when troubleshooting network equipment, installing network equipment fresh out of the box, or any other scenario where console access is required. To use a console cable, you will need the following. A USB to RS-232 adapter. A console cable. A console terminal emulator like PuTTY or HyperTerminal. For this example, we will use PuTTY, as well as a Cisco console cable. Note that there are other variations of console cables available. As a field engineer, most of the equipment you will deal with will be compatible with Cisco cables. Always make sure to check which cable you will need before visiting the site. Step 1. Connect the console cable with the adapter. Before connecting the cable to your laptop, Make sure that you have the correct drivers installed. If you connect the cable to your laptop without the correct drivers, Windows will identify it as an unknown serial controller in the device manager. If you are missing the drivers for the console cable, visit the vendor's webpage and download the suitable drivers for your operating system. Once the drivers have been installed, you can go ahead and connect the cable to your laptop. To see if the drivers were installed correctly, open the device manager. If everything went well, Windows should identify the cable as a new COM port. Take note of the number assigned to this COM port. Go ahead and physically connect the other end of the console cable into the network device that you want to access. Now you will need to configure your terminal emulator. On the first page you will see the basic settings for setting up a PuTTY session. Choose Serial as connection type and Serial Line should automatically change to a COM port. Ensure that the number at the end of the COM port matches the number that was assigned to your COM port in the device manager. You should also verify that the settings for your serial connection is configured properly. A good way of finding the right setting for your device is by googling the device name followed by console port settings. In this example, we want to access an HP 1920 switch. Therefore, my Google search would be HP 1920 console port settings. My results indicate that I need to use the following settings. Press the open button to start the session. A terminal should open on your laptop. To see if it's communicating with your network device, press enter. If a login prompt appears, you've successfully set up your console connection. If no connection is made, verify that the device you're connecting to is expected to be functional. And if so, revise the above steps and make sure no parts have been skipped.